Welcome to Spike 2 Productions, New Room. We were supposed to have an interview with Chaz today, but unfortunately we can't find him. Hold on guys, I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh. Oh. What's going on, man? Oh. Dang. Oh. How you doing, Ray? How's it going, Chaz? Oh, man. Doing crazy events, man. I'm, I'm here. What's going on? It's going all right. Since <laughs> you've been keeping busy. Oh, bu super busy, man. We've been trying to find you. Yeah. All right. So my it's, bad. Yeah, it's to my understanding that you will be telling us about what's going on next month. Yes, actually. Let me go through my calendar here. Well, no. here. We're in August, right? Um, no. We're in September. But you will be telling us about what's going on in October. Oof. My bad. My bad. All right. That's all right. Okay. So for October, let's start with the first week, okay? Uh, October 3rd through the 7th. We'll start with October 4th. We don't have anything going on Monday. October 4th, Issa Adney. She's a real positive, motivational speaker. She's going to be coming. She's going to be in the Gibson Lit Lecture Hall from 2 to 3 on Tuesday the 4th. She's real encouraging about how um, community college can make you have a productive life, like so how much success comes from a community college, I would say. Also that night, dig pink volleyball game, breast cancer awareness, wear your pink. We have pink beads, uh, pink t-shirts, all oh. kinds of stuff, so. Good, then I won't have to go out and buy my own pink shirt. I think you might have to go get one. I might just get one. <laughs> I think I can look good in pink. I, I, I say, I, I need to pull it off. Me, not so much, but yeah, you got it. You got the color. All right, All right so um, then uh, October 5th, free lunch at 1045 and at 1215 inside the cafeteria. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have our annual um, retreat for all SGA members coming October 7th. Big event. We'll be there all day. Um, then let's skip on to the next week. Uh, October 12th, Grand Movie Night. We did the last one uh, two weeks ago, or last week, I believe. Did that and turn out good? About 120, 130 students. Nice. So it went really well. We're going to do the same thing again. 100, first 150 students come at 6.30, free movie ticket. You can use it anytime. You don't have to use it that night, but we prefer you use it that night. <laughs> we, get, we try and build a partnership with the community. You know? I am not very good at doing that. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> we'll get you. Um, we got free breakfast October 13th. Um, it'll be either supplied by Panera Bread or by our cafeteria. Uh, Cabin Creek. We'll see. Uh, it'll, it'll more will come along in the next week. We'll find more about that. Okay. The next week we got what's called Humans versus Zombies. Yeah. Yes, it's going to be amazing. Um, in a quick rundown, Humans versus Zombies is a giant game of tag. Um, you start out as a human, except for two percent are infected zombies. It's a week-long played event. The zombies eventually have to feed on the humans through a tag motion, and then it grows into like an epidemic. Right. And it grows to the end of the week. We're going to crown most valuable human, most valuable zombie. Which one do you think you would want to play? <sighs> I think I want to start as a zombie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm going to be honest. I want to. I want to yeah. be that guy. I thought that. Yeah. <laughs> I want to be a human. I want to see how long I'd last. You're going down first. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm really looking for you. <laughs> let's um, let's move on. If you ever want to know anything about humans versus zombies, come by the SGA room anytime. We'll explain it all to you. The week of the 10th through the 14th, we will be having sign-ups for Humans vs. Zombies. So come see us anytime. Um, we have October 20th, free food, free dinner that night, actually for the nighttime students to come here at 6 o'clock. Um, food is undecided as of right now, but we will have something at that time. Um, we have a tri-college and a roundtable event going on the 20th at 1230. Both the, you can choose one. You can come sit on one and then move to another if you want. Just get a feel for both. All but, right. Um, so, can you explain what those are? Because I yeah. don't think some of our listeners will actually know. Okay. Um, the roundtable event is going to be the benefits, the positives and negatives of social networking. It's going to be a roundtable event where anybody's open to any discussion. It, it's going to eventually teach you. It's Lori Canning's hosting it. Um, she um, she's really felt like this is going to give students an opportunity to respect each, each other out of like different views. It's something that most of us don't know. You know what I mean? You, once you argue with somebody, you feel like you have to stay away from them now. And this yeah. is teaching you to like respect others' views. Like, you know, sure, they might have the craziest thing. They might be off the wall cuckoo, but you have to respect them because there's other people that think like that. That's her mentality, and that's why she started the roundtable discussions. All right. Tri College going on at the same time is the chance for all students to get heard in front of our administration. 
Dr. Curley, Dr. Bishop, Dr. Lavender, John Mercer, they'll all be there answering our questions. If you have a problem with the upcoming smoking ban coming on on campus January 1st, this is your chance to approach them about what alternative routes can we go um, because the ban is official. It, it's not going to get lifted. But what can we do to like help the campus per se in that area? Like what is still okay to smoke? Like the, the policy states as soon as you step out of your vehicle it becomes smoke free. So how like this would be a chance for some students, I know we have a tri-college committee right now meeting and they're talking about like how can we enforce this policy? How can we help people better understand it? Um, this would be the chance to do a tri-college. We'll understand why we went smoke-free, okay. et cetera, like that. Different, different any, anything you have on campus. Going that's on. good. I think some kids will have opinions on this. Exactly. And we have a really opinionated group this year, really loud. I like it. Yeah. So people on campus, I love people that speak up. They, they have something wrong. They want to get it fixed. I love that. I don't want people to be quiet about it because then it just builds up inside, you know? All right. Um, so to close off this week, long week going, Zombies and Humans will end with a drive-in movie, all Halloween themed. Either it'll be a zombie themed two movies or it'll just be Halloween based two movies. Okay. Do we have an idea of what's going to be playing yet? We don't. It's actually a toss up. We've thrown out a couple ideas like Shaun of the Dead, 21 Days Later, or 28 Days Later. Um, we threw out, uh, what was another one? They said? I can't even remember. They, we have a list of them. But yeah, it's, uh, it's up to our entertainment committee where they decide which movies we want to watch. So All right. I'm hoping they go with something. I kind of want to see Sean of the Dead, but I would have like 28 weeks later just because yeah. it's not really a zombie. It is, it isn't, but like it's creepy. <laughs> it's like that's the best way to say it, man. Creepy, okay. creepy. You just have to watch the movie. That's, that's <laughs> exactly it. You just have to watch it. Um, okay, let's move on to the next week. Last week, oh, we have a week and then a day left in October, okay? Wednesday, right. the 26th, we're going to have a free student night at JC's Haunted House. Sponsored mostly by Spike Soup here. You guys have helped us get right. to that point. So come out. We'll have more details later. It'll be up on our SGA website, our Facebook, etc. But for now, we just know that the event will be a free student night. We'll pay out of student activities programming funds for so many students to come in. More on that later as far as how many students, what time, etc. All right, sounds good. And then we have the Billies coming back. Uh, did you see the Billies last year perform? I didn't get to. Uh, it was great. They actually came out, they performed on stage, and then they did a songwriting workshop where we created a song. Um, it was actually really nice. It was called Golf Coast. We actually had, um, uh, what was it, about four or five, maybe six students involved, and we completely wrote a whole new song from scratch. Oh. And it was about Golf Coast. Cool. And that's what the Billies provided for us. They provided the instrumentation, the recording of the music, and sent us the final copy after they had mixed it down. All right. So it was really nice. Um, last event I want to announce, Tuesday, or what is it? Yeah, Tuesday is Halloween. Is that what it is? Yeah. No, Monday. Monday is Halloween. Yeah. I had to make sure on that. Sorry <laughs> about that. Get my days mixed up here. Monday, Halloween day, be outside of the library in between the cafeteria and the, that whole open area. Not gonna say what's going on, it's a big event. I don't wanna release any information, just be there because you will be blown away. So, October 31st, Halloween day, be outside the library. Other than that, I think I'm good for August, I mean October, so. All right. Cool. And that's all the events that you wanted to talk about today? That's all I have right now. Oh. And we will stay busy. We have, uh, right now, we already have a list of October, and at the same time, while we're trying to pull these events off, we're already planning for November and December and January. So yeah, that's good. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Chad. Thank you. Appreciate it, man. I do want to say one thing real quick. What's up? Um, I want to get people involved with student government. If you haven't met our student government oh, okay. yet, come by the student government room. I can't remember what it is. You can't miss it. It's in the student union uh, east in the cafeteria as you're walking like towards the lunch line you'll have a big 50 inch flat screen tv and an atm it's that room right there we'll have a sign out soon that says student government room but come by and see us we want to get everybody involved our meetings are every tuesday at 12:45, student union west room 306 i believe that's right is this right? the one all the way at the top go at the top of the stairs and just walk straight ahead that's yeah. the easiest way to say it um but other than that i think i'm good man all right yeah. well thank you again Thank you, Ray. Appreciate it. Was it was nice interviewing you. Thanks for uh, Spike Soup for having me. Mm -hmm. And for Spike Soup Productions, this is Ray Schofield signing off. Good.